Hey Online Empire Academy, this is Dean Soto, the founder of the Online Empire Academy, and I wanted to welcome you to this part one of how to use Zapier with Amazon Seller Central series, part one of the series. I um, wanted to do this uh, because one of the main problems that you'll find, especially if you're a merchant fulfilled seller, you don't have to be a merchant fulfilled seller to use uh, use a lot of this stuff, but one of the problems you'll find is that there really is no integration with Zapier or um, other programs like If This Then That uh, with Amazon Seller Central. And one of the problems is, especially if you're drop shipping like me, if you're drop shipping on Amazon like I do, uh, you will find that it is a little bit of an annoyance because you need to be able to communicate with your staff. Um, I, I'm going to show you in this how I communicate via Slack and Asana uh, automatically when there is a new order or when there's really anything that I want, a new, uh, new um, uh, customer inquiry or anything like that, uh, uh, how I communicate automatically with my staff to let them know that they need to do something at some point in time. Um, and so it's a little bit of a workaround, but at least you get some automation and it helps out a lot. So this is my Slack um, Slack uh, uh, team right here, the, my, uh, my Slack channel. And uh, as you can see, there's a, um, an Amazon order bot right here that says, hey, you know, there's an order. Um, and uh, here, you know, here's the, uh, the order number, etc. It's waiting shipping. Hey, can you go and assign it to yourself. Um, I also have a customer inquiry bot. I have a couple of different things that I've created, all using Zapier. So when you're a merchant fulfilled seller, this is extremely, extremely important. But the cool thing is, uh, and uh, I'll probably show you later in other series, even if you're an Amazon FBA seller, you can use this to um, track your sales, to send send sales numbers, etc., over to um, a spreadsheet where you can then calculate so that you don't have to spend money on uh, on a, a whole other service you can hold, do a whole bunch of stuff but I have this doing um, doing tracking orders have it going to Asana etc here's my Asana right here it actually creates a new um, task and then my guys are able to task themselves with that um, so pretty cool I love it it works really really well um, and I'm going to show you how, to, how I do it. The, I'm going to show you the simple way in this particular video, and in the uh, next video, I'll show you the more advanced way, okay? And we'll uh, I'll kind of hint at the advanced way. So let's go into Zapier right now. Um, this is my Zapier. Uh, easy way to do this is uh, you, you, you can have the lowest plan. It depends on whatever you, what you, whatever you need. I personally have the business plan because I use it so much. I have about 34 Zaps right now. Some of those I can actually get rid of. But, um, but, uh, but yeah, so like I said, there is, if you search for Amazon, boom, 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 Amazon, there is no Amazon, at least at this particular point in time, there's no Amazon MWS, like as far as, um, being able to do your, um, Amazon seller central, which kind of sucks. I'm sure at some point in time they will, but right now they don't. So what we need to do is we've got to make a zap. Okay. Got to make a zap. All right, so the first step is choosing the right name. So let's say, um, let's do, this is gonna be Amazon, let's say um, Amazon order, um, we'll just say Amazon order to Slack and Asana. We'll just say that for now, okay? <clears throat> All right, so let's find the first, of, uh, let's find the app that we're gonna want to use, okay? There's two ways to do this. One is the email parser, which is much more advanced. I'm not going to show you it in this particular video, um, but this actually lets you pull data out of emails um, that come in. And you're gonna need that because guess what? When you make a sale, that's where, <laughs> that's where you are gonna get your data from, is from, your, from this uh, Amazon Seller Central sending you an email. Um, so that's one way to do it. The other way to do it is through the just using Gmail. Um, if you use Gmail, I don't know if they have the Yahoo on here. Nope, no Yahoo, no Hotmail, no Hotmail. So hopefully you're using a Gmail account. If you don't have one, you probably want to set one up. Um, but let's use Gmail. All right, now it's gonna ask, ask us to actually choose a trigger. Here we are going to 
do a new email match matching search. Okay, new email matching matching search, and we're going to actually create a search um, in this in just a little bit. So let's do save and continue, and then we're going to choose your Gmail account, and then save and continue. Now we're going to enter the search string. Okay, um, easy way to do this. Okay, so here I am in my email. Uh, now what we're going to do is we are going to click this. There's a little arrow right here where it says show search options. We're going to click that. We're going to do from. This is going to be seller-notification at amazon.com. Okay. Now we are going to have, uh, we're going to make it to where it says, has the words, quote, sold, comma, space, ship, now comma, or sorry, uh, quote. Okay, now I'm also going to um, do one more thing in here. I'm gonna do, doesn't have quote listing created. Okay, and we'll search that. Okay, so now I have everything that I need right here. All right, so now we have our search right now. This is, this is the search that we can use, okay? So we're gonna actually copy this right here. And then we are going to go to Zapier, <clears throat> do the search string like that. Pop that in there, should be all good. Let's get rid of any spaces or anything like that that's there. Click continue. All right, fetch and continue. All right, test is, test is successful. All right, so now we hit the continue button. We're gonna do the actual action. And you can do this with Asana. You can do this with um, Slack. I'm just gonna show you how to do it with, this, with Slack, but you can generally do it with, uh, I mean, you can do it with anything. I'm just gonna show you how I do it with Slack because I have a little test thing set up for it anyway. All right, so what we're gonna do with Slack, I'm gonna actually use a private channel because I have a private channel set up. And I'm gonna click this send private channel message. And save and continue. I have my Slack account. Continue. Now the channel, I'm gonna go find the channel I had, test sandbox right here. And I'm going to just say, so now we can do this message text right here. Let's uh, say this is a new order. This is a test new order alert, period. Um, I'm going to say, um, please assign this new, uh, new order to yourself. Okay, do colon and click this right here. If you click this button right here, it'll give you all of the things that you can use for um, uh, to actually um, uh, send. So in this particular case, I'm gonna actually use the subject right here. Click that. Okay, so I use that for the subject. <clears throat> and right here where it says send as bot, I do yes, because I want people to know that this is automatic. And then right here, bot name, we'll just call it uh, Amazon test order bot. And you can say, you can actually use, if you click this button on anything, it'll use the fields from the previous, the actual trigger, okay? Um, and it can even use the fields from the prior action as well. Um, if you have multiple, you can actually chain a bunch of different um, Zapier zaps together. <clears throat> All right, so then you can do um, an emoji of choice. Um, I think, um, so if you go to this sheet, a cheat sheet of emojis, it will have a link there for that. Um, let's just use this kissy face. We'll do these hard eyes right there. If you click on it, it will um, copy. Once it's all loaded and stuff. If you click on it, it will say copied. And we go back here, paste that, hard eyes, we're good. And then, 
Oh yeah, the, this is the other cool thing with Slack at least. You can do the send at mentions notification. So if you wanted to send a, uh, mention the entire channel, you can say at channel like that and it will actually pop up, it will actually notify everybody in that particular channel. So I'm going to click continue and I'm going to scroll down and create and continue. Boom. You see right here, new message in uh, test sandbox. If I click into there, there it is right there. <clears throat> this is a new order uh, test new order alert. We have our heart face right there. Pretty neat. Um, test order alert. Please assign yourself uh, this new order to yourself at channel sold chip now. It tells what it is. Yada yada yada. Pretty cool. Um, that is the easy way to do this. You can um, for notifications and things like that. Okay. Um, uh, there are uh, like I said. There's the 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 harder way to do it, which would be um, with uh, with the parser, which I might do in a later video, which I will do in a later video. But uh, hopefully this helps. This is, this helps me to let my guys know, helps me to let my guys know that there is something out there. Plus, uh, I actually just go on, I, I add it, click right here, and I add uh, Asana as well. And you can actually create a task, etc., etc., and just do the same thing. And uh, you can actually create uh, an actual task based off of that and even assign it to specific people if it comes in. So that's how you uh, get around the, uh, the fact that there is no uh, Zapier or if this then that um, connection between uh, Seller Central and uh, um, uh, uh, between Zapier and Seller Central. And this really helps out a lot when you are a merchant fulfilled seller, especially if you're drop shipping. So if you want to find more really cool tips, go and head over to www.theonlineempireacademy.com. Uh, sign up for the uh, the newsletter. As soon as you sign up, you get some uh, about uh, right now. It's about four free goodies. Um, definitely go and check those goodies out um, in your email right when you sign up. It'll be sent to your email. Get free goodies, um, hundred and something page ebook. You get um, access to my um, uh, my outsourcing course on Udemy, which is a two hundred dollar value, um, and a, a couple of other awesome, awesome stuff. So go and check out that. Um, sign up at www.theonlineempireacademy.com. Last but not least, what we're gonna do is click this zap is on. Um, actually, I have to do the. Uh, if I didn't do this Asana thing, let's get rid of this Asana. Delete. Boom. Zap is on. And we're good. Okay. I'm going to actually turn it off because I don't need it. Uh, <laughs> uh, but, but if you like this and you want more, subscribe as well as go and go to www.theonlineempireacademy.com and get your free goodies. We have a lot of really cool stuff coming out um, and uh, I think you're going to love it. All right. Have a great one, Academy, and we will see you next time on the Online Empire Academy YouTube channel.